everyone. I'm Dr. Rania Hamza. I'm an assistant professor at the Toronto Metropolitan University, uh, formerly Ryerson University, at the Department of Seven Engineering. And uh, my research work is focused on wastewater treatment, uh, wastewater intensification, and removal of conventional and emerging contaminants from wastewater. Um, the research topics that I'm currently working on include a list of contaminants that we call them, or a group of contaminants that we call them together, contaminants of emerging concern, or CEC. Uh, these are not only one group of contaminants, they are groups and groups of contaminants, thousands of pollutants that actually come up from our different sources, uh, including industrial, domestic, municipal, and they include pharmaceuticals, personal care products, microplastics, um, the new groups of, or not, I would say the legacy contaminants like the PFAS or fair and, poly, uh, and polyfluoroalkyl substances that are found in firefighting foams, um, the Gore-Tex or the, or the water-resistant uh, products that we have. So all these contaminants enter the wastewater treatment plant and these treatment systems were never designed to remove these contaminants. And that's why uh, we do a uh, varying, I would say, a degree of removal. And we end up with these contaminants in the effluents or the treated water that will end up back to our receiving water bodies, which are also our source of drinking water. So my work is focusing on how can we remove these contaminants from wastewater, what is the fate of this, and um, as you can see in my background, uh, our lab, the research and recovery uh, lab that we have here at the TFU, um, and we're running different biological systems uh, from suspended and biofilm cultures or microbial aggregates, what we call them, like the aerobic granular slot, to see the fate and the removal of these contaminants, how can we design a system that will be able to target both conventional contaminants like the organics and nutrients, but also tackle these new contaminants and see how would actually these contaminants affect the performance of the system and how we can also design systems and optimize system to be able to better remove them and protect the surface waters. Um, as for the project that we're currently working on, we have uh, three main projects uh, that uh, focus on emerging contaminants. One of them is focused on PFAS, uh, which, uh, like I mentioned, the fur and polyfluoroalkyl substances. And Zanina uh, is working on that. She's currently a PhD student focusing on that work, and we're doing that in um, collaboration with chemistry and biology. Dr. Roxana Surin is, is supposed to provide that work. We're also working on removal of microplastic fibers. These are the fibers that come from many washing machines, washing our clothes. These are kind of shedding fibers that again end up in the wastewater treatment plant, and we're working on that again. Uh, Dr. Roxana Suring is also providing that work, and we're working on um, determining the fate and removal of microplastic fibers. Uh, we've also worked uh, with the uh, Urban Water Research Center uh, on uh, uh, a gap and a knowledge synthesis project with Dr. Kimberly Delbright from Chemistry and Biology and Dr. Patricia Hania from uh, Law. And we looked into uh, the knowledge gap, whether in the scientific gray literature or indigenous knowledge on uh, what do we know about emerging contaminants, uh, what's been done about emerging contaminant and what needs to be done in emerging contaminant uh, in a knowledge synthesis project. We've been able to interview different stakeholders from the government, from municipalities, from operators in the wastewater treatment plant, engineers, policy makers, so that we can understand more about this and what can be done uh, from an engineering perspective, a science perspective, and also from a law perspective and water governance. And the next steps in our project is to, to focus on the science aspect, the, the engineering aspect, so in determining, like I mentioned, uh, what are these uh, contaminants and what are the transformation byproducts that we're having, what are the removal efficiencies, and can, how can we process the system. And also, we are um, trying to work on more collaborative and interdisciplinary and multidisciplinary projects so that we would be able to uh, bring different uh, uh, people onto the table that speak science, engineering, social, 
uh, aspect and legal aspect so that we can tackle this pro problem on a, I would say, a more holistic approach um, and, and let, let's stay away from the silos of only working alone to, to, to have this problem so that we can uh, mitigate the impact of this and also work on uh, mitigation of that and, and the impact of these contaminants and how it's related to wastewater and climate change. Um, I guess that's it. Uh, please like uh, feel free to contact me if anyone is interested about these projects and, and, and I'll be happy to share more information.